So we're here today to pray and I'm going to have a different background because I want you to know that even in the darkness we can pray and God hears us for he is light and he dispels the darkness. He is hope and he dispels despair. He is the source of all encouragement and he banishes discouragement. When Jesus said in John 10:10, 10, 10, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy, but I, but I, the Lord Jesus Christ, have come to bring you life and to bring it abundantly. The thing is, in this life, we're going to have hardships. There's going to be periods of darkness in our life. And we feel like we are being buried. But guess what? God can just be planting us. Planting us in a new place. And as we hang on to Him, as we trust Him, as we have faith in Him. Faith. What does it say in Hebrews? As it gives us the faith chapter of those who's gone before in Hebrews 11, it says, Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And further, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For those who come to Him must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently follow Him. Trust Him. Follow Him. Even when you cannot see where you're going and it's dark, hang on to the hand that knows where you're going. The scarred hand of Jesus. Remember, He has been here before, over 2,000 years ago. He knows what it's like to live in this world. I mean, He was born in a manger a feeding trough. He was from Nazareth, a place that nobody thought anything good came from, and yet the best thing in ever this whole wide world came from Nazareth, and that's Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, I want to praise you, that even in the midst of the darkness, when everything seems to be going amok, when we don't even maybe have the things that we think we need to have, or people are sick, or someone's died, and we just don't know what's going on, help us. It says that you give us the faith to believe. And then from that faith, we can grow by our ever believing in for you more and more. As some of the gospel and some have said since Jesus' time, O oh God, I believe. Help me in my unbelief. Lord, Help us when we have hard times believing, when we're holding on by a thread and everything seems to be against us. Increase our faith. Jesus said a bruised reed he will not break and a flickering flame he will not put out. Blow on us, Holy Spirit. The same Spirit that lived in Christ Jesus and rose him from the grave. The same spirit that dwells in believers today. Holy Spirit, breathe new life, breathe faith, breathe strength, breathe hope in us today. Because you are faithful. God is faithful. The Heavenly Father is faithful to hear our prayers as we cry out in and through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Father, that you've heard our prayers today. Thank you, Father, that you are in the midst of your children. Thank you that we are never alone. And you are always willing to hear us, to strengthen us, to increase our faith. In Jesus' name. Thanks for joining me today. And I pray that this video has encouraged you and the prayers God actually I was just downstairs arranging myself this stuff and the Holy Spirit was like showing me to rearrange and I got in this and I sat down and I just felt the presence of the Lord and the presence of the Holy Spirit because he just knows what we need doesn't he we can make our plans and make them to the nth degree. But sometimes those are not the best plans for us because he knows the end from the beginning. And so he does today, even setting me up with this background and then putting it in my heart and giving me the words to speak to you, beloved. Oh. I wish you could feel what I feel in my heart right now that I know is of the Lord and of the Holy Spirit. God has got something for you. Grab onto Him. Even if you're a flickering flame or you feel like a bruised reed. Things that people blow out, things that people break and throw away, that's not what God does. He blows gently on the flame until it catches a full spark and keeps it alive and brings it into a full flame. And the bruised reed, he comes alongside of it and joins with it and stands with that reed, helping that reed to be strong and heal. Oh, dear ones. Oh, dear ones. I myself was worn out from this weekend and thought, Lord, you need to help me. I'm trying to be faithful in this life, just as you. And I have people that know God and don't know God in my family. And you try to be there and friends and different things and situations. And sometimes just worn out from the activities of life, right? And yet, here, I always put my makeup on for my videos, but not today. Not today. Because God wants you to know He sees us just as we are. No makeup, no frills. I'm in my workout clothes. I haven't even worked out. I just set up all this and then this all happened. But God sees us. And I have to be humble because I have no clue what I look like because I'm 65 and I'm not, I'm not always liking the wrinkles that show up, and especially in some of these videos. I'm not, inside I feel I'm in my 30s. But outside, not always so much, right? But yet, we humble ourselves. We become vulnerable. And we have faith that in the midst of all this, in the midst of our humanity, in the midst of who we are and who we aren't, that God loves us, has our best in mind, wants us to use that faith, that trust in Him, that He indeed hears our prayers and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek after Him and who believe Him and His Word. Be blessed, beloved. Be blessed. Because God sees you. He knows you. 
He loves you. He's redeemed you through Jesus Christ. He's got a good plan for you, Ephesians 2.10. And he wants to increase our faith because he is faithful who has promised.